Welcome guys, as you know it's Friday update time, although I'm now recording this in the very, very, very early hours of Sunday morning because I was away on holiday for a few days, well a week. So all of you guys who wondered why I did the update video, I wasn't here, my PC wasn't with me, and like hell was I taking on holiday with me. Anyway, back to the more important matters of the latest update from Friday the 2nd of July. Hello everyone, in this week's update we are finally giving you the creature that quite a few of you have been asking about for the last few months. This is the most powerful addition to the Infernals faction and to Arbs or Abras. Spell check, boy, spell check. In general, please welcome the Scourge. Scourge, Scourge, I don't know how you say it. Scourge. Scourge. Sounds a bit Scandinavian. Anyway, we've also added a typical that has come out on the one week I wasn't here of the entire last year. But, you know, thanks, Arbs, for not waiting a week. Cheers, guys. Anyway, we've also added a few new cool things to the unit crate that will light up your battle scenes. You now add glowing eyes to your creatures and also sparkles. Nice. You can make a proper phoenix now using the unit creator. We fixed an issue where the units would fly off after pausing and unpausing, so hopefully you should no longer see the strange behaviour. Can't say I've noticed that. But anyway, this video is going to focus on the Infernal Faction leader. Should we call him now? The Scourge, Scourge, whatever. Then we'll do another video at some point in the very, very near future for Phoenix. Anyway, let's crack on with the Scourge. Scourge? We're gonna go with that. Okay, let's go. Right, boys, here he is. How much is he then? How much is he? Drum roll. 130, 130, 150, two foot. Whoa, hello, man. Hello, 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 you little beast. How tall he was. Welcome to everything else. I'm so gutted I wasn't here when he first came out. Look at. Can I get his head? He looks like he's got a cold and he's about to have a nice steam bath to warm those. Did you actually got a face under there at all? Like a nice little steam bath. He just needs a bowl of like smelling salts under there to sort himself out. That's all you need, fella. Bowl of smell and salts. Middle of the summer, you've got a cold. I feel your pain. Well, I haven't got one, so I don't really. So, uh, I think I'm right in saying uh, that's not what I want to click on. I'm pretty I'm right in saying he is now by far the most powerful unit. Hydra was 240 when it, when it first came in the game. But no more. It's back down to 200. And now the scourge. 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 I don't know. Uh, guys, help me. How do you say it? Give me a pronunciation in the old comments for me. The scourge. Let's go for scourge, shall we? That's uh, scourge. Oh, I don't really know. Anyway. Now the most expensive unit in the game. Let's see what this boy can do then. Let's okay. If you can beat, if you're now more powerful than Hydra, prove it, buddy. Let's see what you can do. I've already seen comments from people that you can take him on. Oh, hello, spikes in the floor. What the hell is that maneuver? Oh man, this guy's got some moves, man. What is that maneuver as well? He, wow. Holy crap, this guy's got some. He's like a a really angry alien version of like a Terrazino source with magical powers. I mean. He's nothing like a Terrazinosaurus, he's basically got hands that look vaguely like them. But my word. This guy's a bit of a beast. What is that kind of magical flaming kind of power? The flames in this game are awesome, they need real dragons. I don't think they've got a phoenix now. Oh! Get wrecked on the spikes, boy! The heads are dropping, the heads are dropping. And the Scourge is just having none of it at all, is he? He's, he's, look at his little spins and everything. I tell you what, he looks like he might be one of the most... Athletics is the wrong word for it. One of the most maneuverable units other than the Goro for like variability, variability, variety of moves. I like him. Dude, you're a bit epic. You're a bit epic. Ugh. Yeah. Why didn't they bring his unit out of Halloween? Like, why didn't they ever wait or bring him out last Halloween? Because he's this epic. Seriously, man. He's a quality unit. He's clearly a quality unit. $240, man. That's, that's, a, that's, quite, that's quite a hefty, a hefty price tag. Another one for you guys to consider when you're going to be picking out your um, ARBS uh, subscriber league teams in the next couple of months. It's not going to be for a couple of months still. But yeah, worth considering. We are not taking you on against a Purosaurus. That would be rubbish. Right, let's go against the older primates then. So let's try and get these guys in a balanced, a balanced battle. So we can try them straight away in a big battle. One, two, three, four. Uh, be three versus four in it. Let's try that. Let's give it a go in a three versus four scenario and see if they can take them on. 720, 720, 3 versus 4. You can see at the bottom there. I think the Goras are going to get absolutely wrecked. Like, ab like absolutely wrecked. This one, they like, end here. Did alright. The, the 2v1s, they need to be beating them in the 2v1s. I, they've got no chance. In my eyes, the Goras are going to all die, like, heavily. Maybe we did more of them. We, 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 that'd be fairer. I don't know. I thought we'd pick the two most flexible. You know, you guys know I like using the um, Goras in general, but. Uh, I thought we'd pick one of the most, I don't know, varied movers in the game for kind of move types to see how they go. Oh, ooh, he went down on the back side, but he's up again. Can these guys double team this boy and get back another the chance? No, well, Goro's, oh no, Goro's not gone. I thought one had died already. We're still got Goro's here. Now it's 3v4 of a 1v1 gun in the background. Uh, okay, that did really surprises me. 
did not see that happening at all, if I'm being honest. I thought they were going to get wrecked, and they've won. Okay, well, that's a surprise. I was not expecting a full whitewash. Okay, let's just try 1v1. I mean, again, I've heard that they can beat them, uh, that um, Scourges can beat them, but you know what? Why not try it? I'm, I'm really surprised that was as quite as simple as that. I mean, this is clearly a bit of a disadvantage for a Gora at the start. Gora's actually bigger. That also surprises me. I thought the Scourge was going to be bigger. Oh, I think I've heard as well that they died. they've got quite an issue with fall damage. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> I mean, is he going to fall off the map? Nearly. I mean, what's he doing? The guy's lost his balance. He's suddenly gone into an anti-gravity universe. He's on the moon all of a sudden. Where he can. I mean, the Gora's got a chance now. Oh, and he gets spiked by lots of big old horny thorn, horny thorns, horny horny tusks. What is this guy doing? It feels like he's going to kill himself here with these random moves. He's doing this, but Goro's not putting these putting these punches in. He's just throwing himself across the map. He can get launched off the map in a minute. There he goes. What an idiot. Okay, so I'll be honest. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Okay, so what can we do to, 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 to kind of like... We need we need some kind of like arena situation. We need to put some stones in. Let's put some big old blocks in quickly. They are the wrong kind of blocks. Let's whack some big old rocks in. <laughs> just put them in a big old arena so he can't fall out. Because I, I don't buy for a second. Surely not. Surely the, the Goro can't be that much more powerful than him, right? It's the Arena of Doom, guys. It's the Arena of Doom. Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Arena of Doom. She's got my pretty really catchy here. That'll do. It's close enough, right? Go on then, boys. Fight out in, in the Arena of Doom. It's panning. I mean, I've got. Oh, there's the gap in there. You watch them fall through the gap. That is the most poorly constructed arena you'll ever see in an Arbor's video. You watch him fall straight through that gap now. Now, there's no excuse now at all. These guys like they make quite a good wrestling uh, quite a good wrestling match up if I'm being honest though. It feels like these guys could wrestle each other well in a wrestling in a wrestling ring. Arms WWE, maybe? Should we bring back Arms WWE as the question? Albeit Donald Trump's gone, Biden's gone. They were a big part of the original start of that small series of two or three videos, but then they stopped very quickly. Um, almost as quickly as the uh, the uh, the the tournament I started. Okay, he's wrecked him this time. Right, okay, so um, different outcome this time, but he didn't get flung all in the air. I, I don't know what happened there. That was a weird one. A very strange run. Right, let's try him out now against some small units. Let's try him out because I get told off as always for not trying this bad boy at all. The new units against small units. You want to get small units? Okay, we'll try and mix here. So 240. Let's try him out against some angry jazz. I'm not going to put gu gun gunning units in there and stuff. It seems that seems unfair because if I put them in, there's a bit. You know, it feels a bit mean. Oh dear on the wrong team. So we're going to stick with like just kind of units, clubs and stuff and all that business. We'll do a mixture of these guys and some of the weaker dinosaurs and give them a go and see if they can take him, take him down. Uh, I got told off for killing cryos. So um, more cryos. There you go. For any good they'll win, won't they? That's what I'm saying. Right, let's, let's put some of these in as well. Okay, let's see what he can do against 20 units. There we go. All unnecessarily lined up like I tend to do. Four of each. Let's see if he can take these boys down. They've got an advantage numerically and just about. <laughs> that cry laughs along. Oh, he's wrecked two cryos in seconds. Uh, cry lovers. Oh, he's that cryos alive. Cry lovers. I'm sorry, but meh. someone warned me about killing more cryos. Well, I'm sorry. This is a balanced video with uh, four other units as well and the cryos. Whoa. Okay, this guy's literally using these guys as frisbees. Whoa, where the hell's he gone? Whoa. Okay. This guy's like literally using these guys as like shot puts, javelins, whatever you want to call them. Oh, he's finished that last one. Oh, he literally pierced that poor little Dinocus on there. Dude, you showy off, you little taunt. So that was pretty epic, to be fair, man. Okay, right. Big finale, boys. Big finale. Let's do a really big scale battle between the uh, between the older squad, 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 whatever it is, and a hide and Hydra. And we're back to six thousand versus six thousand. King unit of the king unit of the game. Battle. We're doing a big numbers. 1v1. Meh. Let's see if 25 of the Scourges can take down 30 of the Hydras. They want me to find out. Detection distance is slightly more than I don't really matter. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's fight. Let's fight. Who's it going to be, boys? Hydra or Scourges? Surely Scourges with a barrage of spiky, bony things coming up. It's going to be a big, a good start for them. Let's see. But there are a lot of Hydra heads to take into consideration now. You've got five heads per Hydra. That's a whopping 150 heads against 25 of these boys. That's five heads. Literally, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that literally is a lot. 150 these these versus, uh, the 10 versus 25 of these boys. That's a, that's a tough call. Tough call. 
Who's going to win? Surely Hydra's have got to win this one, haven't they? One Hydra down, I can see. Lots of Scourge. Another Hydra. It's hard to gauge this. The Scourges at the top there are definitely going to be, are definitely win this battle. There's some large numbers of Hydras and Scourges. This big battle in the middle here could make the difference. The Scourges are bossing over the here, though. The Scourges can be moving in from the far side here in a minute. They've killed them off. Here they come. We pan round. I'm seeing more Hydras dead than I'm seeing Scourges. Scourges? Scourges. The Hydras are definitely losing numbers more rapidly here. They're in trouble. They're in trouble, boys. They're in big trouble now. There's many of them left. Oh, that comes some more bony spikes. They're nearly all gone. There's not a lot left here. Scourges are definitely bossing this one, 100%. Official new boss unit of the game. I mean, we need it anyway. They're $40 more expensive. Let me know in the comments, guys, as I'm going to wrap this video up now. Let me know in the comments which unit you are the biggest fan of in the game. Is this now your most favourite unit? Will you be? Would you be using it in your ARBS team if you're in the ARBS League for Season 2? Would you be using it in your team? That's a question. Do you think it's worth $240? Oh, there's a lot of spikes and grimness going on here. I can get going back out a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure you smash like, hit subscribe, and I'll be back with another video very soon. I hope to see you back here then. Cheers all. Bye.